In this video, we're going to go through a flowchart to determine uh, inheritance pattern. Um, first, you're going to want to uh, get a pencil and some paper um, so you can make your own copy of the chart as the video progresses. Because um, this chart is a functional and fluid chart, so you want to adapt it to your own purposes. Uh, second, the chart. Uh, leads to the most probable answer. Um, you can trust it with a good amount of certainty, but the, just by the statistical probability of genetics, it's not going to be accurate 100% of the time. So, as a disclaimer, this, this chart is not foolproof. And finally, uh, a basic knowledge of Mendelian genetics is expected for this video to be fully understood just due to some of the terminology that I use throughout the video. Okay, let's get started going through the chart. As we go throughout the flow chart, we'll ask questions to help us determine the inheritance pattern. The first two questions we want to ask are, are only males affected and are all the sons of an affected father affected? So again, only males on the chart will be affected, but not necessarily all males. If yes, then the pattern is Y-link, and that's it. You're done. Um, Y-link is a genetic disorder affiliated with the Y chromosome, so any male will give it to all of his sons and none of his daughters. And it'll never show up in males without an affected father. If no, then we need to ask another question. Are there any cases where affected children do not have at least one affected parent? If yes, then it's a recessive disorder, though we have not determined whether it's autosomal or X-linked yet. Being recessive, an individual must have both alleles to express the disorder. Therefore, an affected child can have unaffected parents because they're both carriers. If no, then it is a dominant disorder, and thus an affected child must have an affected parent. As a side note, dominant patterns usually see someone affected in every generation in each affected lineage. This means that once you see a parent affected, you will usually see it in every generation afterward. Dominant patterns won't skip generations. Okay, moving on down the recessive line, we need to ask two more questions to determine whether it's autosomal or excellent. So, are all sons from an affected mother affected, and are more males affected in general? If yes, then it's X linked recessive. X linked means it's a disorder attached to the X chromosome. And since males only have one X chromosome, they are more likely to show the recessive X linked disorder. Females have a second X chromosome that can mask the one with the mutation. Furthermore, males receive their X chromosome from their mother, so if the mother is affected, meaning she has a mutation on her has the mutation on both chromosomes, all of her sons will receive the, the mutated X chromosome. If the answer is no, then by default it's autosomal recessive. Essentially, males and females are evenly affected, and affected mothers have unaffected sons. Another side note that I'll mention here is that for a daughter to have the X-linked recessive mutation, her father must be affected, but her mother may only be a carrier, because the daughter will get one X from each parent, so uh, her father will have to be affected if he only has the one X. If you're following the dominant line, they need to ask the question, are all of the daughters of an affected father affected? Yes, then it's X-linked dominant. Males only have one X chromosome, and they give that to their daughters. So if it carries a mutation, all their daughters will have that mutation. If no, then it's autosomal dominant. If you know it's dominant, and you have a case where an affected father has an unaffected daughter, you know it can't be excellent. Again, because the daughter will get 
one of her exes from the father, and the father only has the one ex to give. And so if his has a mutation on it, the daughter's going to get that one. All right, this is the full flow chart. Um, I hope this helps to uh, not only determine inheritance patterns, but also to better understand why that is the uh, inheritance pattern.